Hi there. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. I'm Catherine, and I've turned on my camera. I get 30 minutes, so here we go. It's a rainy day where I am here today, and I'm okay with that. Um, we need the rain, and rain is a nice excuse to say I'm not going out anywhere and I'm not doing anything. <laughs> So I've been working more on um, World Book, uh, Volume 2, and uh, as you know, as I showed you yesterday, uh, we, well I guess it'll be two days ago, no, yesterday, it throws me off when my, <laughs> when my videos are like a day late. This is Monday morning right now, in case you're wondering, and in case I mess up again right now when I'm talking to you, Monday morning. So I've got these uh, really um, coming along nicely. I made um, the very first page of the this volume of the encyclopedia. Of course, the first entry was Beach for Beach Tree. So I made a journaling uh, card. And then the top of the page was this banner here. So I made a pocket out of the banner. I don't know whether this is going to stay there or not. I just like looking at it for now. It makes me happy. Now I wanted to, uh, I've, I've included a few things in here. I've just been sort of going through. Usually the next step I do is start adding whatever little tuck spots I'm going to have. Like for example here I've added a little... Um, a little tiny little airmail envelope. I think this was from, I bought this from a woman on Virage sale. Uh, I got a whole stack of them for, I think it was $3 she was selling them from. She said she had them left over from her wedding. So for whatever reason, I don't know whether she had thank you cards inside and maybe they had a travel themed um, uh, reception. I don't know. Anyhow, I was very happy to take these off her hands because they're really cute and they're not too huge and they were second hand. I've been doing my usual little fussy cutting that I enjoy doing. I like putting my fussy cutting on the pages that really aren't useful for writing in. Um, they're more useful for collaging and putting down your favorite, you know, if you find a picture that you love, um, that's what they're that's what they're so good for. The background just adds character. Let's see if there's anything else. Just a quick glance before we get started today. Because, I yes, I'm going to be fussy cutting again today. Anything more in here? No, nothing here. Nothing here. All right. Um, I found this. This was out of an old birding book that I did. And there were lots of leftovers, so I saved them. And I figured you could journal on the back of this. Um, this was from a really old book. I'll have to find out... Um, I'll find out the year from that, but it's a woodpecker, and I figured forest trees, forests, you know, woodpeckers, come on. <laughs> they go hand in hand. What else? Maybe nothing. Thought I did a bit more. Oh, there we go. I did a little fussy cutting from um, uh, Eloise Wilkin uh, book. I have a big, a big old really cut up, um, found this on one of my thrifting hauls and it's, I just keep raiding it every once in a while and uh, this was in it. I had used part of it for something else in some other book and now I can't remember, but because I had used part of it, the stump of this tree was missing. So what I did was I have this paper left over from when my son gave me flowers for Mother's Day two years ago. I had to save this paper. Is that fabulous paper? It feels glassine, but it's also got this texture on it. It's just fabulous. When he showed up at my door, the tall, handsome man that my little boy turned into, um standing there at my door, grinning from ear to ear with a bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day. And, of course, I was very um, excited and, and thrilled. Um, but when I started taking the flowers to put them in a vase, <laughs> I said to him, I went, I said, I got to keep this paper. This paper is fantastic. And he started laughing. And 
I said, what, are you laughing at your old mother? <laughs> and he said, well, he said, I just gave my wife um, a bouquet of flowers for Mother's Day. And he said the first thing she did was save the paper because it was so fantastic. And his wife is an artist as well. So <laughs> I'm in good company. <laughs> the women in his wife, in his life, <laughs> uh, like the same things. Anyhow, um, so I used some of that paper. I'll be using more of it in this book in other areas. But I just made some leaves and glued them over that little area that to cover up the flaw where I'd used it for something else. But it's a junk journal, right? So you use everything up. And this would just be a shame to um, mess out on those trees, this forest. And again, this is a page that has writing on it. It's from, it's from the en actual encyclopedia, the text block. So I glued on some ledger paper to it, and then I glued this on there. I think I'm done with that page, but I'm not sure. And that gives more uh, journaling space. Uh, put an owl here, and I wish I'd shown you why I put the owl there, but I'll tell you why. Um, otherwise, you'll never know, and I'll forget. It'll go out of my head. Uh, of course, these papers are all tea dyed, these ledger papers, and well, almost everything else, unless it's naturally aged like this one. This is 1947, so that yellowing is the best kind. Um, somehow or other, in the tea dyeing, a big blob of tea was right there and it just wasn't attractive looking like some I love splashes of tea don't get me wrong here let me show you some splash there I love that that looks great but this blob that was there it looked like I was eating my lunch while I was tea dyeing the paper and that I just slopped some of my lunch on the paper and it wasn't it was tea dye but it was just a bizarre anyhow and I was not going to waste this gorgeous ledger paper. So um, that's how we decided upon a, a beautiful, a beautiful owl uh, looking up at you. So let's get started. I, I'm going to wander through this too much. And then that defeats the point of having a flip through when it's done, doesn't it? So I have, um, <clears throat> I found this illustration. Let me piece it back together because I've already been fussy cutting. It's from a poem called um, The Babes in the Wood. So, of course, I I liked that because there's my combination, right? Forests and children. Um, it was actually, the poem was, it was actually quite a dreadful poem. Um, as nursery rhymes often are, they were initially written to make children behave themselves and not be naughty. So the, the poem, this poem was actually quite dreadful. <laughs> um, but I really liked this picture of the brother and sister uh, asleep at the base of this big tree. And of course, all these little birds. And I think I'm going to fussy cut a few of those birds. And then I like that title. So I want to um, put this in, I want to make a page that's useful. Let me get this out of the way. I want to make a page, uh, I want to make a printed page useful. There, that's better. So I think maybe, maybe I'll do this one. Because as I said, these pages, when you get a junk journal and you think, well, what do I do with this? It's printing all over it this is when you start layering in the things little things that you save that you want to uh, keep now I want you to be able to write over top of this so um, I'm going to use some pattern tissue and that will give um, that will just camouflage that writing just enough. I like when it shows through. I like the character that that has. And, um, but it gives you enough uh, camouflage that you can go ahead and write on it very successfully so that you can read your writing. So I'm just looking through to see how big I want this, how wide I want this tissue. 
The tissue is not the easiest to tear, but I'm not looking for perfection. I want it to look like torn tissue, so I'm okay with that. There we go. I will be using uh, aerosol glue for this. I can't imagine being able to safely <laughs> and neatly um, glue this down without aerosol glue. I really like these wrinkles and I'd like to be able to incorporate those wrinkles there. You can see that there's some natural yellowing there this, from this old pattern. So I'm thinking I would like to incorporate that so that it's actually quite evident. So again, I'm just, I'm looking through to where the print is down here. I have a feeling this is going to be covered uh, mostly by their feet when I put them in. But I always plan on it showing so in case something, you know, in case you change your mind and decide on a different uh, illustration, then you haven't totally messed up your plans. Okay, so let's see here. I like those wrinkles. I am not looking for smooth, smooth, smooth. I, I like that. So there's lots of things that you could put over this print. As I showed you previously, you can use, um, you can just use paper and glue it down. Paper is easier in a way because you could use a glue stick um, quite easily with a piece of paper, tissue paper, onion skin paper. Those all work very nicely. Now, hold on, because I'm going to remove these. And now get those out of my way so I can just work on this. So this is going to go here. Now, um, I have a box, my glue box that I use when I use aerosol glue, but it's, it's over there. So there's no point in me leaving the camera running while I do this, but I will show you the glue that I use. I really, um, I like this one the best. I've tried them all, and this is the one I like best. There might be better ones out there, and I'd certainly love to know. Let me know if you found one that's better than this. But I like this one because, first of all, it's acid-free. Um, it does not have strong fumes um, for when, if I'm gluing inside, which I usually glue inside. I usually varnish and seal outside. Those have really strong fumes. This is not bad at all. Um, but I'm still careful. I still I have my little window open over there. All right, so I'm going to pause you for a second, and I'll be right back. All righty, so let's see if I can glue this down on camera. Now, I want that up near the top. So, let's see. That looks good. Now, you've got to pat it down with the tissue quite carefully at first or else you'll get more wrinkles than you really want. And I've learned that through um, experience. <laughs> so I, these wrinkles, I love them, but you don't want too many and too much of a clump. There we go. I find fingers are the best for this job. If you're too aggressive with like um, a credit card or that sort of thing, you can tear this tissue initially. Once it's on there, it's on there for good. So you can see how it's still quite evident that there's printing underneath that tissue. But once I finish doing more decorating on this page, you'll see how this turns into a journaling page. You really will be able to write on that. This will just turn into just a little blurry, um, 
a little blurry blur in the back. There's a technical term for you, eh? A blurry blur. So this is still a little too big. His toes are going into the uh, gutter here. So I think I'm going to bring them over. And now I don't want to cut the important part of her, but we are going to lose part of the sister here. And I do think we're going to bring her down a bit and lose part of her dress. That's okay. I do like, I like that. I like a bit more of her shoes showing. I think that looks nice. So, pencil. I want to see how far out. Okay, so. To there. And then. I'm just bringing it over so I can see how much I want to take off here. Okay, yeah, I think that will do because that will leave all this room for journaling on. There is this. All right, so now that is a straight line. So let's, let's use that so we can still maintain a 90 degree angle. Abby's back at work. We had a holiday weekend here in Canada, or I should say Ontario. It was a provincial holiday weekend. To my American friends, that's like a state, uh, our provinces, although they tend to be a bit bigger because we have less. We just They're bigger, but there's less of them. <laughs> there we go. All right. Um, oh, you know what? I didn't need to do that yet because I still have to ink around those edges as well. Now, I want to take that now I just want to check and see. This is important. Yeah, that's okay. I I like her hair. Her hair looks pretty. I like his his hand lovingly on her shoulder. There we go. All right. Now let's see. I'm not so worried about the top yet. I can take that off afterwards. So if that goes there, that looks nice. So uh, what I will do next is, um, because this is fussy cut, those edges will look uh, nicer if they are inked. So I found that for speed, my, my, uh, my makeup sponge, does the bulk of these edges faster but then I will still go in with a tiny little makeup brush and uh, do the crevices the cracks and crevices it really does make a difference I I really can't overstress um, how nice your finished um, fussy cut will look if you just take an extra second to ink those edges. I am not trying to distress this image. You, you can see, you're probably thinking, I don't see any ink on that. Good. I, I want, I just want the core white part of the paper that's been, um, that shows now because it's been cut. I want that darkened up because of course, remember back to your art classes, dark colors recede, uh, lighter colors advance. So that's why if you don't take the time to ink it, um, your eye will start noticing, oh, that looks like it's been actually cut. <laughs> so that's why it just, long story short, it looks nicer. <laughs> take the time and do it and you'll be so glad. All right, so um, just a little makeup. 
brush will go in and I'm just going to sort of push it against in these little crevices that my my big sponge can't get into. And doing it carefully because like I said I'm not necessarily interested in um, distressing this whole illustration. I like it the way it is. It almost looks like a stained glass. It's a really big book that I found. This illustration actually was about this. Well you probably can't tell. It was bigger than this sheet of music. It was a huge illustration and there's a lot more of them in the book and I keep forgetting I've got it but there's a place in time eh, for the um, for a large illustration they're not always um, easy for us to use all right so again I'm going to I'm going to just for speed I'm going to use my um, aerosol glue again uh, but this is thick enough, this paper is thick and tough enough that you could use your glue stick on this. I'm not going to, but you could easily. Or you could use, um, hmm, you could try and use your art glitter glue. The problem with art glitter glue is it comes out in a little thin, a little thin um, line and you could possibly see your swirly lines through this paper because this is old paper, right? This uh, this book is old, so that's why I think I will I will aerosol this. All right, I'm going to pause you again so that I can go glue it or spray it, and then we'll do that together. Hold on. All right, this is glued, and this is where we hold our breath and and hope that we can lay this down first try. So this is the important corner and everything else should lay properly if I can get that right. There we go. Ah, we did it. Yay. <sighs> First success of the day, yes. Now, um, see why I left that a little long? It bought me a little bit of fudge space, <laughs> fidgety space, um, because this bottom, if I had taken it down too far, I would have had a quarter inch to play with up here. So that's why I did that. And now we're just going to trim that off. That looks nice. And see how it is now dominating what your eye goes to. And you'll be able to use this as a writing space. Now, let's fussy cut this because I think I want to put that right there. So, here we go. You know what? I could pause this because I'm running out of time. I'm going to fussy cut this. Hold on. Okay, so we've got that fussy cut. Ink the edges so that you don't see that white core. I won't lecture you again about that, I promise. Well, not in this video. <laughs> I'll lecture again someday. You'll never shut up the homeschooling mom in me. My um, my children who were homeschooled, of course, are now, most of them are parents themselves now. And um, we live in a small town that has a lovely little school system. 
and uh, all of my grandchildren that are of school age go to school, unlike their parents. <laughs> and uh, so my children, this pandemic shutdown, a nice thing for them is all of their friends are panicking about this, you know, educating their children at home. And my kids are all sort of, what? What's the problem? It's easy. <laughs> because, of course, they were homeschooled children. <laughs> and and uh, it uh, it's kind of nice for them. But it, it's also been nice for me because um, <clears throat> many of them now are saying, oh, my goodness, Mom, how did you homeschool five of them without the benefit of caffeine or alcohol? <laughs> Jeepers. <sighs> All right, glue, glue. When we were homeschooling, I guess I should clarify that. When we were homeschooling, we were members of a faith community that did not um, partake, which was fine. You know what? It saved us a heck of a lot of money. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, no... No coffee, no tea, no alcohol, no tobacco. It's an actually very healthy way to healthy way to live. We had such busy days. We slept well at night. There we go. So I'm not aerosoling this. This paper's thick. That paper's thick. So babes in the wood is going down here. I think that looks pretty. There, like that. Let me hold this up. That looks nice. It looks like it was just automatically there. That looks really pretty. So this is um, this is flat enough for writing on, and yet wrinkled enough for character, which I love. All right, now I think what I want to do in this poem, the children when they get lost in the woods, the little birds bring leaves and that to cover them. And uh, so that's what these little birds are doing. And I think I want to fussy cut a few of them and, uh, and just put them maybe around here. Oh, there goes my, there goes my alarm. Well, you know, as ever, I will, um, okay, all right, time's up, dismiss, um, as ever, I will post a photo of this finished page, but put your imagination caps on with me and imagine these little birds fussy cut and I'm going to put a few up there and you can still see a few of the little birds here. I actually might overlap a few here. Um, I think that would look nice. All right, well, I'm going to turn off my camera or it'll turn me off anyways and, uh, and I'm going to finish this. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Take care and uh, stay safe. Bye.